COVID-19 vaccinations for the rest of Hawaii's most at-risk groups begin soon with those 70 to 74 starting this morning. Joining us now with more on that is the Lieutenant Governor and the state's COVID-19 liaison, Dr. Josh Green. Good morning to you, Lieutenant Governor. Thanks for joining us again today. Good morning. So the state is now allowing a new group of kupuna to receive the vaccinations. Can you tell us more on what we can expect this week and how the state and hospitals have prepared for this? Well, this is definitely kupuna week, so age 70 and up. So 70 to 74 are now uh, scheduled to get vaccinated. So if you're in that category, please sign up immediately at hawaiicovid19.com. We have 60,000 and 64 kupuna that are between 70 and 74 years old in our state. 39,969, or two-thirds of them live on Oahu, the other third live on our neighbor islands. And so you can get an idea that we can go through this quite quickly. We're going to receive 62,330 doses into our state, and we do have some supply well held over from the last couple of weeks. So this is the time to get that first shot if you're 70 to 74, and it will continue to drive down our hospitalizations, which are now down to 23. Now, you, you spoke about the doses on Friday. The Johnson & Johnson vaccinations were administered here in Hawaii. How many received it so far? And any reports of different side effects from this? Uh, minimal side effects, if at all. 1.2% of people nationally and internationally have had side effects from the Johnson & Johnson shot, which is very low, and they've been pretty mild. We received 11,900 doses of Johnson & Johnson. And right now, those are, in many cases, across the state being used for our educators because we want to get schools open. So if you're an educator out there, if you work at a school, you're a teacher or otherwise at one of the facilities, you're eligible to go get vaccinated and you should contact either Department of Health or CVS or through our website because we want to get those shots. And I'm a believer in the Johnson Johnson, especially for younger people. Any word from the governor regarding your proposal to do away with testing for inter-island travel? Uh, not any specific word, although they're working through it with the mayors. I think Mayor Victorino had a little bit of trepidation about it because he'd been going through a spike. That spike is subsiding. They only had 11 cases yesterday, and their positivity rates back down to 2.5%. Plus, we're beefing up immunizations and our response on Maui for kind of a two-week period. So I think we're going to get there by April 1st, but always the prerogative of the governor when he lifts those kind of restrictions. And when can we get to that next tier? Next year, I think, is about two weeks away for Oahu, and I think we should see a lot of movement on high school sports. I'm going to push really hard with some of the other advocates across the state to get high school sports going. I've heard from great people from the, uh, the private schools, Iolani Punho and those schools, and our public schools also. We really want to get these sports going in addition to schools being open. So I think the tier system will relax in two weeks at this rate. Our positivity rate on Oahu is hovering just under 1%. And we've had so few cases that I would be surprised if we don't make that milestone soon. And finally, a year in now, what have you learned about all of this? And what do you think has been the greatest lesson for the state after a year being in this pandemic? Uh, the greatest lesson is if we are patient, we will survive. There has been a lot of uh, heartache and trauma, obviously, with 445 people who pass uh, from the virus. Also, the impact's been incredible on families with children who have missed school and small businesses. But most people have been able to survive this because of it. there's been just enough support. And we hung together and kept our case counts about 80% lower than what we would have expected for the numbers on the mainland. So because Hawaii stepped up and we made some decent decisions and we, we didn't dwell on our failings, like the shortage of testing and tracing in the early phase, we were able to come out of this really well compared to most other places. But the suffering is evident, and it's time to really take the next steps to opening and, and returning to normal once we're vaccinated. All right, Lieutenant Governor Josh Green, thanks again for joining us. And Lieutenant Governor will be sticking around to answer viewer uh, Facebook questions in just a bit, but we do have to take a break. Thanks again, LG.